<laughs> well, the stars are coming to town for this weekend's Academy Awards in Hollywood. And some of them might get outstaged by their automotive counterparts. KTLA 5's Gail Anderson has details on a special exhibit dedicated to celebrities of a different caliber. This exhibit is something special. Cars of film and television are here. What kinds of cars from film and television? Here's an example. Look at this. The 2018 Lexus LC 500. Beautiful when it first rolled off the showroom. Well, let us show you what Hollywood did with it. You might notice a little bit of patina on this car. <laughs> But this one is the famous LC500 uh, from the chase scene. So this car, a lot of the, spoiler alert, a lot of the people who have seen this film will recognize this car driving through South Korea uh, with uh, T'Challa on top clinging on and with those famous claws ripping through the body of this car. And uh, you know, Hollywood is in our backyard and it's amazing to see machines like this in their movie configuration on display for everybody to enjoy. Yes. That is a Cadillac hearse. And I know you're thinking, Gail, why are you showing us a hearse? What, 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 what is that all about? This 1959 Miller Meteor, uh, which was once an ambulance, has been converted into what we know as Ecto-1 or Ecto-1A. And this one is really special because it's featured in all three of the films. This was in Ghostbusters in 84, Ghostbusters 2 in 89, and Ghostbusters Afterlife in 2021. And when they find it in 2021, it's in its first configuration from the 1984 film. And you can see they found it in a barn. It is uh, in need of a restoration, as we would call. Um, but it is iconic. And I think that's the beauty of Hollywood, is we remember these cars just like we remember the actors. And it makes them that much cooler. Um, the Miller Meteor was actually from the Wayne Corporation. And they built school buses, specialty vehicles like the hearse and the, uh, the ambulance, and this one is in that ambulance configuration. So if you look in that back seat, you can see it was originally intended for that. And with the Ghostbusters, they are saving people. Yeah, for our motorcycle riders, this started life as a Ducati Monster 1100. But as you can see, it's kind of become the attack dog. It's the Moto Terminator uh, from Terminator Salvation. And you can see the creativity from the studio. It looks almost like it has an exoskeleton and it is a fully autonomous motorcycle in the film. There's a pretty epic chase scene where this bike is, is after the, you know, the hero, and uh, it's just part of that Hollywood creativity. The automotive stars of the film and television industry at the Peterson Automotive Museum, Gail Anderson, KTLA 5 News.